we do have a bunch of stuff that got released in 2.6 that is actually really cool. So we're going to start with simple schema. So this basically integrates uh, open telemetry um, signals. So things like, you know, metrics, logs, and so forth and so on. Um, it allows them to be ingested with a, you know, kind of common set of parameters. And this is really the backbone that will let us eventually um, roll out like canned dashboards for open telemetry signal. So really exciting, a whole bunch of fun stuff that's gonna come out of that soon. Um, also, we have expanded the security analytics. So it used to be that you could only uh, do alerts or security events off of a single index. Now those can span multiple indexes. So, you know, say someone is new to the network and they, you know, had a bad login attempt, you could see that and throw an alert or something along those lines. Um, we've got administering data streams. So in 2.5, we rolled out the index management user interface. Um, this is going to allow you to manage data streams from that same interface. So that's going to be your like force merge operations and stuff like that. Um, you'll now be able to do from that user interface. Uh, we've moved uh, support for the index search, uh, search back pressure um, is now available at up to the coordinator node level. So um, from your coordinator nodes, you'll be able to have those uh, searches get canceled so that they don't take your cluster down, uh, which is phenomenal. I've already seen a bunch of people that have mentioned, you know, they've been saved from um, bad queries that would have taken taken nodes down. So that's good. Uh, do, 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 do. Ah, adding maps to open search dashboard panels. So before it used to be the case that you could only view maps from within the maps plugin. Now you can actually use those in the dashboard panels. And with that, I think we have two experimental features. So we have a machine learning interface that allows you to view your model health. So whether that model is up, responding to requests, um, this is experimental again. So it's a feature flag, I believe, that you have to enable um, to get that running. And then also um, for your multi-data source, we now allow you to use SIGV4 to connect to data sources on the back end. So that's from uh, multi-data source with dashboards. Make sure to check out the release announcement um, and the notes. James did a lot of work on the announcement, so it's phenomenal and you guys should check it out. but 